Okay, next stop is connect to the internet. That's the next stop here. So installation enables the DHCP CD daemon on boot for wired networks. That connection may be checked with etc. So as a rule, or else I know there will be exceptions, but as a rule, you will be able to uh, have internet. You have internet at this point in time. So ping archlinux.org is what they suggest we do. And since I'm on VirtualBox and since my machine is, of course, connected to the internet via DHCP, DHCP daemon, um, yeah, then uh, everything will just connect. And that's my advice to you guys. Pop in a LAN cable if you want to really um, break your, your uh, nuggets and then do it via Wi-Fi. But first things first, just via cable and that's already difficult enough. So as you can see, I don't have to do anything about my uh, installation on the internet. I have my internet. So um, my situation at home is as follows. Um, we have a DHCP server or router in here. So there is this thing here. So um, it provides us with the essential information. What is informa essential information? To get on the net, that's um, an IP address, a subnet mask, we need the gateway and we need a name server. And that's it. With this information, we can get, did, we say, did I say gateway? Yeah, I think so. Um, that's what you need to get online. And this system provides us that this uh, extra router that's about four meters from me is giving me a number, a specific IP address and all the rest. So normally everything should work out of the box. If not, you can check here what it says here. Um, stop it if no connection is available, stop it, etc. And proceed then with wired or wireless configuration. So it depends what you are. Some of you have a laptop without an ethernet, so you need to go in here. It's a little bit more difficult than it is the case with a LAN cable. So we start with LAN cables first, which is the wired device. So you can check a lot of things, a lot of elements, load the module, listing network devices. That's something we can do as well. Let's show you that we can ask an IF config. So we have um, a name. My Ethernet card is ENPOS3. So that's the one that's pinging uh, up there. And uh, the loopback is, is something entirely different. That's not needed. It's the ENPOS3 that's important to remember. And you can set it like here, up and down. Uh, links, so IP link set interface up. So the interface is then my name, my specific Ethernet O, or in this case, my ENPOS3. And then pinging is uh, done when I say down it's will not ping anymore no connection and up it's up again so that's the idea it's a little bit uh, te technical but normally I say normally you get an IP address and we can um, do things with it all right concluding the tutorial here